All right, everybody, welcome to update number six of the Love's EV Charging Network series. It's been quite some time since I've done one of these because there just hasn't been a whole lot of news. But that is going to change today. Uh, I'm, I'll bury the lead a bit and we'll get to it in a moment. Let's kind of recap, though, where we are at this point. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for any noise that's in the background. I've got some neighbors mowing grass and and doing lawn work today, so forgive me if you hear that. Uh, let's kind of recap here at the 2024 press release that came out last August, so we're about a year out from, from when this was released. Uh, back at that press release, Love said that they had more than 100 chargers at 28 stores in 11 states. So that's now 35 stores in 14 states, so we've picked up a little bit since that time. Uh, they promised that the site amenities for new stations would include proximity to interstates and highways, uh, that they would be 24-7 uh, operated and staffed, which is true of any loves, of course, and that they would have canopies, trash, can, trash cans, windshield cleaning stations, uh, and other amenities that are commonly found at fuel centers. Uh, they have been true to form on those promises, so all the new stations that have been built since this announcement have included all of those things, which is great to see. In 2024, they expected to start construction in New York, Pennsylvania, and Kentucky. They were successful in doing that in New York and in Pennsylvania, at least partially. Uh, the Kentucky stations did not start till 2025. And then in 2025, they hoped to start in 13 additional states. That has only been three thus far, uh, for reasons we'll talk about in just a minute. But that's where we stand today. Uh, the other thing they said that all uh, was that all new loves stations, I should say new love stations, will have EV chargers. Uh, now that's kind of since been amended to say that they'll have space for EV chargers in case they have local partners that want to, to put in chargers or give them some sort of incentive to do so with their own network. Uh, since this press release, there have been nine new loves that have opened across the United States that have included this language in their press releases, and we'll, we'll get to those in just a moment as well. Okay, some changes since the last update that was back in May. So we've got a few new live sites. Uh, the first is Smith Station, Alabama, which is in my home state here. Uh, that opened back in June, on June 8th. Uh, interestingly, that station is not a NEVI-funded site. It was one that was funded by Alabama um, state funding that is generated from the revenues for EB registrations. Uh, we also have Ritzville, Washington, which was also another non-NEVI site. That was a state-funded program in Washington. And then Grayson, Kentucky, which is a NEVI-funded site, which is interesting. That one uh, has recently reopened as well. The initial date was back in July. They had some difficulties with that station, and now it's just come back online. Under construction right now is Sparta, Kentucky. And then lastly, uh, Buena Vista, Colorado, uh, interestingly, is an electric era site, not a Love's charge point site. That's the first one of those that we have seen. Um, coming soon per the Love's website, and uh, interestingly, if you navigate to the Love's website here, it's loves.com EV charging, they've now started to list the stations that are coming soon. You'll see a couple of these that are already open or in construction, but there are now four additional ones here in Texas. Insignal, Natalia, Three Rivers, and Van, Texas. Uh, I haven't seen any new NEVI awards since May, which is not surprising given the status of the NEVI program. Uh, and then new store openings, the ones that are EV ready uh, since the last update are Carlin, Nevada, and Wilmington, Illinois. You'll see a few pictures here of these new sites. They're very uniform at this point. All four stalls, all have canopies. Uh, pretty, pretty good looking sites. I believe several of these also have the Omni port where you can use either CCS or NAX for your vehicle. That's something I'll try to pick up a little more detail on in the next update. Here's a map of the national site status and you can see there's some arrows to these, these recent changes. Uh, we got 79 awarded sites, two in construction, eight are EV ready, that's what I'm calling them. Uh, these two plan sites were a couple that were on the Love's map before they started uh, building new new sites, and uh, 35 open. 
there's a digital version of this map that I'll leave a link to uh, down below if you want to go check that out. Uh, quickly on charge point operators, so the legacy sites of before this 2024 announcement, they were a mix of Electrify America, uh, traditional charge point stations, EV Connect in California, Francis Energy in Oklahoma, and Tesla. The Colorado Nevi Awards appear to confirm the charge point charge point hardware for that state with the exception of this electric era site that is now under construction in Buena Vista. Uh, my big question here, and this is pure speculation, I have no information about this, is could we see IANA eventually partner with Loves? They seem to be fuel retailer agnostic and just look for places where they've got space to complete their uh, rollout as a group. Uh, so. I think it would be a good partnership, but we'll we'll see if that actually happens. All right, so I'm going to pause here quickly on these open locations as if this is of interest to you. These are sorted by state, so they're going to include both the new high-powered charge point hardware plus the older legacy stations. All right, under construction locations, again, we've got the Electric Era site in Buena Vista, Colorado, and a charge point hardware site in Sparta, Kentucky. EV ready locations. Uh, we got one here in Coleman, Alabama, a couple in Illinois, in Wilmington, and Rock Falls. The Rock Falls station is under constru construction, is from what I understand, not the charging site, but the, the store itself. New Iberia, Louisiana, Fredericktown, Missouri, Charleston, Missouri, Carlin, Nevada, which was new this update, West Jefferson, Ohio, and Buffalo, Wyoming. Okay, so the big news for this update is that Nevi is back. If you've not heard the news yet, earlier this week on August 11th, the FHWA issued their interim final guidance for Nevi. So this is uh, basically updated guidance from the FHWA following um, the new administration coming in this year. Uh, and, and some key points from that guidance are that states must describe how they'll spend all their remaining program funds. So previously, these, these uh, NEVI plans were submitted annually to release funding for that fiscal year. Now the F FHWA is saying, just tell us how you're going to spend all of the rest of it. I think they want to get this program funded and done and out of their hands, <laughs> ultimately, which is good for speed. Uh, the, the new plans have to be submitted by September 10th, 2025. That's only 30 days. It's very quick. So the states can resubmit their existing plans, but they are going to have to address how they're going to spend any, any funding that they had not included in previous plans. That'll be interesting to see how the states handle that and how quickly they can turn it around. So how might the new guidance affect love specifically? Um, well, there are a few really important and positive points for loves. Uh, the guidance tells states to consider, quote, proximity of existing off-highway travel centers and fuel retailers to propose charging locations. Well, uh, loves is both of those things, so double check on that. They encourage sites that have on-site amenities that are safe and have restrooms. Again, that's every loves. They encourage selection of sites where the charging station operator is also the site host. I love this one. I think one of the biggest problems with the the station rollout in the United States is that you have charge point operators who put a site somewhere where they don't have staff and the business where they co-locate doesn't really care about the charging. So if there are problems, it's hard to know and it's hard to get people to respond. That is not the case for these love sites. Uh, so all three of these points here are really going to favor uh, awarding loves and other uh, highway fuel retailers these charging locations which in my experience is a good thing. Um, you know, I'm obviously an EV advocate, but uh, when you're on a long road trip like this, having somewhere that you can stop and use the restroom, a clean restroom, get a little bit of food that's more than just a candy bar, uh, you know, clean your windshield off, those are, those are great amenities. If you wanna see that full document, there's the link below. You can also just Google search for it for the FHWA's website. So with all that said, I'm going to show you a list of the currently awarded NEVI sites, and these are in order of their award date. So in theory, you would expect the ones at the top of this list 
to go under construction the soonest. These are sites that were awarded and have just been in limbo since there was no NEVI guidance. So I would assume these are going to kick up really fast and we may see a flurry of them go under construction unless there's some kind of hardware constraint. So here you got Kentucky, Kansas, Tennessee, Michigan, Texas. Four of those stations listed for Texas are the ones that are already on the Love's website. Virginia, Indiana, Oklahoma, Colorado. All of these awards are more than 12 months old at this point. Moving on to the next page. We're wrapping up Colorado, Arkansas, Ohio, some more Kentucky awards that were done in a later round. A whole slew of Alabama awards that I've personally been waiting on. Arizona, Illinois, North Carolina, some more Kansas awards in another round. Virginia. Even these, uh, about halfway down this list, are, are a year old at this point. And then on your last page, you're wrapping up Virginia, one more Kentucky, a few more Colorados, and Minnesota. The Minnesota awards are the only ones that have been awarded after the pause in the Navy program, you can see in April of this year. Um, on the last few Colorado awards, I just didn't have good information for those locations, so they may be earlier in the construction cycle. So yeah, a lot of great news for the Lowe's rollout. I'm hoping this will really kickstart the construction of new stations and that we can get these updates out more frequently with more information for you guys. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.